welcome to the heart's journey. We read in 2 Corinthians a beautiful invitation, a salutation to prayer. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God our Heavenly Father, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you. Those are words which highlight the importance of one of the most fundamental mysteries of the Christian faith, the mystery of the Holy Trinity. God, who is Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, being three divine persons in one Godhead. Three persons in one God. How do you fathom that? Well, of course it's a mystery, so we can't completely comprehend it. We can't get our spiritual arms, our minds, wrapped around that mystery, because God is always greater than our minds. But uh, there have been some attempts, you know, to begin to at least scratch the surface of the mystery. One of them was given to us by the great St. Patrick, one of our favorite saints. St. Patrick explained to the people of Ireland the mystery of the Trinity in this way. He said, you take a shamrock, you look at the shamrock, there are three beautiful leaves, and but there is one stem. So also with the Trinity, there are three persons, but one God. It begins to help us understand to some extent. Another illustration is water comes to us in three forms. It comes as ice or vapor or liquid, but it's always water. So God, who is always God, comes to us as Father, Son, or Holy Spirit. But how do you, how do you comprehend in a, a personal way the mystery of the Trinity? Because what we're talking about is a personal relationship between three divine persons in one Godhead, but also our being moved and pulled into the mystery of the Holy Trinity, allowing that Trinity, the Trinitarian power, to have a presence in our lives. C.S. Lewis, the great English play, uh, writer, spiritual writer, once said, the Trinity works in our lives in this way. It's like when you were a child and didn't know yet how to write or to form your letters on a page. Uh, your teacher lovingly leaned over you and took your hand in her hand and then gently helped you form the letters and write the words. But it was the her inspiration that guided you. So also, the Trinity acts that way. The Father, leaning over our shoulder like a loving teacher, uh, begins to uh, form us in the process of writing a letter to the world. And the arm is the Lord Jesus Christ making a connection with us. And it's the hand of the teacher, like the Holy Spirit, that helps us guide uh, and form our lives according to that Trinitarian mystery. Mother Teresa, the great saint of Calcutta, once said she was simply uh, a pencil in the hand of God writing a love letter to the world. And that's what the Trinity helps us do, write a love letter to the world. God bless you.